Hey everyone, Jen in the house. What is up? Welcome and welcome back. So today I wanted to show you my makeup collection and what better way to do that than to take you on a tour of where I keep all my makeup, hair care products, excuse the hairy mess. Mm. Girl, uh, boys, ladies and gentlemen, help. Anyways, no, but seriously, so I'm going to show you my makeup collection because I thought if I'm going to review all my eyeshadow palettes and face palettes, then I probably need to show you what I have. So maybe you can put in a request um, and know what's coming. So um, if you want to see my beauty collection, then go ahead and keep on watching. So this is where the magic happens. Um, when we moved, I got this huge bathroom and the lighting in here is incredible. Love it so much. Um, so this is my countertop and um, I try to keep it as organized as I most possibly can. And then I have um, like all more like palettes and things like that. And then I have some other palettes and stuff in here. So, oh, and then of course, like underneath of here. So I'm just going to start from top left and then we can just go through things. In this drawer, I have like extra foundations. Um, these are like all my summer colors, um, lip liners, and then like extra foundations from Unique. I have um, my mascara drawer, which is a lot because I have subscription boxes. So I get one like every month or every other month. It's a lot. It's just a lot. My favorites are probably um, the Montreal Big. And then I love the brown mascara from Unique, the Epic. Oh, it is so good. Let me tell you. Next, I have all eyeliners. So this is all of my eyeliners. Um, I love milk liners. A lot of Kat Von D, Fenty, Makeup Forever, um, Tarte, Stay Away, ColourPop. Those are kind of like my top ones. Um, this is my eyebrow drawer. So as you can see, I have a lot of the highbrows. I love my little click it pin. I love the marker type, um, eyebrow pins just because I feel like they do better hair strokes. So we got a lot of those. And then of course, brow setters, my main brow setters <clears throat> are out on the counter. So I'll show you those in just a minute. Oh, we just saw that one. Da -da -da! Next, I have my overflow of lipsticks. So these are the ones that I don't wear that often. Um, Kylie's, Jeffrey's, Sephora's, ABH, Buxom, ColourPop, a lot of unique. Um, so that's where those are. This drawer is like face masks. So I love my Dior. Um, I got the peel off one from a boxy charm that I don't really care for. So I have that posted for sale. Um, I love the one by Cords. I've been trying out some other ones though. Um, and then this next drawer is kind of embarrassing if I can even get it open. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this is like the overflow of like facial masks, um, setting powders and all of my samples of like perfumes that I get. So it's a lot. Don't, um, come for me. Okay. Cause it's just a thing. Um, then I have all of my liquid shadows. Um, we have Violet Voss, we have Stila, we have Unique, we have Ico, we have some singles from Sephora, Dolce, um, The Balm and Unique back there. We have all our color pops. We have the Kat Von D. This is the best one ever. This is Lolita. Um, P. Louise and this um, Moonstruck Eye Primer by Unique. These two are my favorites. And then I have like some little sample of the Marc Jacobs that I got. Um, and then I have like every single cream shadow that Unique has probably ever made. <laughs> they make really good bases. I used it for my inner corner today. This one is like my overflow of blush that um, doesn't fit into my everyday drawer um, or that I have duplicates of. Like, I love these. These were limited edition from ColourPop. They were the high five ones, so I found some and I stuck them in here. They don't make the Ella Mode anymore. I used to use this to contour um, from Unique. And then Orgasm and Becca Note Makeup Forever. These eyeshadow palettes 
are kind of like my favorites that I use all the time. We have Pillow Talk, Natasha Denona Tropic, um, like every Natasha Denona mini that there is known to woman and man. Um, we have the Sweet Talk palette. This is such an amazing palette. I'm living for this color scheme. Then we have the Sunset palette from Natasha Denona. Um, I have my two favorite Naked palettes, the Naked Heated and the Naked Reloaded. We have Frankation. I got this whole collection. It was like so bomb. Pat McGrath, Kevin Aquan, another mini by Pat McGrath. So this is kind of like the favorites drawer. So now you're kind of seeing into my life. Now you kind of know I have a bougie side and I have a um, drugstore side. I just have a side. I just love makeup. I don't care. But those are my favorites. Then I have like um, facial cleansers that are like my backups. Um, brush cleanser that's like a backup. Ignore the Mary Kay because I love my Unique brush cleanser. Um, my favorite lip oil that I use every day from Unique. Um, American Eagle body spray. Way dry shampoo. This is the rose water like toner I've been telling you guys about. This is my favorite. This is what it looks like. I probably need to get a new one. The way leave-in conditioner. Um, I have a lot of Laneige. I have um, Scentbird and I love Jimmy Choo so I have two different of those. Um, we have the one that came with the little collection for the Oh gosh, Physician's Formula. Um, I have the purple one from Unique. I love this one. Um, Ballet Rose by Philosophy. Tori Birch. Um, I have the Vera Wang Hippie Princess. Um, I have a lot of like skincare, basically. Lash serum, eye serum, under eye cream, um, toners, sprays, perfumes. I love the Way perfume. Oh my gosh. This one is so good. Melrose Place, yes. Then we just have our regular um, vitamins and mouthwashes and brush cleaners and <laughs> toothpaste and all of my brushes here. And then I have these brushes as well. Um, these are kind of like all of my setting powders and then I have all my brow stuff out. I'm trying to use up these setting powders so I can pull out some other ones. And then of course the bag of like samples and beauty blenders and things like that and then we have like all our setting sprays cleansers my cellular waters um liquid highlighters and then all of my favorite lipsticks so there's a lot of fenty urban decay smashbox sephora anastasia beverly hills definitely more dose of colors than anything kat von d some drugstore some jeffree star finding ferdinand um, gin nude, love them. Um, some Kush, and then I have my brow gel for every day. These, um, pigments, I'm actually wearing this one today. I love these. Um, Kathleen Lights and ColourPop, so good. The orange one is my favorite. The Ram, yes. Um, and then I have my little necklace holder that my partner made for me. You're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. So I just leave some of my favorite jewelry there. Of course, I wear like the same thing every day. And then um, I have an affirmations calendar that I like to see every day. Um, I want every girl to know her voice can change the world. So yes, yes. Okay, and then we'll just go ahead and go in here. This is where we keep like all our razors and sinus medicine, lashes, makeup remover, brushes, things like that. Um, underneath here is like all our bathtub stuff. So Epsom salt, bath bombs, extra shampoo and conditioner, extra leave-in conditioner, tanning supplies, extra brushes, lots of tanning supplies. <laughs> then here is like all of my hair products. Um, which is a lot, and then all of my Bath and Body Works collection because I'm obsessed with Bath and Body Works. My favorite um, scent is Sweater Weather, like hands down. And then we have my wife's side, so we have like, you know, that stuff. <laughs> um, and then this is my everyday makeup drawer, so this is where we're going to have all of our kind of like primers, foundations, concealers on this side. 
um, single shadows, eyebrow stuff, baking powder, inner corner highlight, and then we have more powders, um, face palettes and blush palettes. All of these are blushes. And then this row over here is all bronzers and then a few more blushes in the back. These are kind of like my favorites. Um, and then, pardon my trash, I have my James Charles X Morphe palette um, sitting out. And then underneath that is my um, Press Shadows by Unique, which are some of my favorites, of course. So that's why they're out. And then both of my Marc Jacobs palettes. I have a problem with breaking these, so they stay on top now. I know, it's fucking sad. All right. So in the top drawer, let me support my knee here. So we have all of like the ABH highlighter palettes, Tarte palettes, Violet Voss, um, Extra Amrezy, Milk, Makeup Revolution, Too Faced, ColourPop, Pat McGrath, Stila, More Too Faced, Physician's Formula, NARS, we have Winky Lux, we have Fenty, we have Becca, we have Jeffrey, we have ColourPop. We have Nomad, <laughs> we have Kevin Aquan, we have Kat Von D, we have Too Faced Peach, um, the Alchemy, so classic, um, more Jeffree Star, uh, more Kat Von D, Too Faced, Morphe, more Fenty, um, Dose of Colors, oh gosh, Lancome, Ofra, Too Faced, um, Estate, Cover FX, Dose of Colors, and there's so many highlighters, it's kind of pathetic. Then, in this next drawer, um, I really like to have my eyeshadow palettes where I can see each one so that I can just kind of go in, look, and be like, what am I in the mood for? Um, so we have a lot of little dose of colors, Urban Decays, Little Urban Decays, Big Urban Decays, um, Jaclyn Hill, um, More Urban Decay, all of the ABH palettes, and then all of the four... Well, not all. I'm missing two from the Dose of Colors little, like, quads or whatever. Wait, these aren't quads. These have five, don't they? Yeah, these are my favorite. I love the Dose of Color eyeshadows. Mm, so good. All right, next I have um, Lorac Kylie uh, Makeup Forever Crown Brush Cosmetics. Um, what is this, the Almar? Alamar, yes. Fenty, we have um, a good dose of Huda. We have some really good Jeffree Star palettes, including the Alien up here, so that's four of those. Um, we have Violet Voss collection, and then here in the mix of these palettes right here, these are all Morphe, so I just threw my Jacqueline in there. And then, no, we're still not done. In the middle drawer over here, <laughs> we have more eyeshadow palettes. So we start here with Tarte, we have Violet Voss, we have Huda. Um, this is the little mini Nubian by Juvia's Place. We have the KKW Glam Bible, um, the Morphe 9C. We have Tarte's Finger Paints, we have Tarte Maneater, Tarte Dream Big, Tarte Love, Trust, and Fairy Dust. Toasted, we have the Tartlet in Bloom, we have Aspen Ovard, and we have the Tardis Pro. So many eyeshadow palettes, like my kryptonite. We have Smith & Colt, um, Makeup Forever, Kat Von D, um, another Morphe that I got in a BoxyCharm, have not used it yet. We have a ton of Too Faced stuff. So they're Tutti Fruities, they're Natural, they're Peaches. And then the Tarte Mermaid. Over here I have all of the first five um, unique palettes plus their anniversary palette. I need to get the number six. It's like mauves and browns. It's so pretty. Um, I have not yet used these. These are the Laura Geller um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Grandioso palette. I really liked this palette. This is actually really nice. I need to start using this again. This would go really good with those, um, oh my gosh, Loose Pigments from ColourPop. So I need to do that. Um, KKW, we have the Classic Blossom, and then we have the Other Blossom palette. Um, we just looked at that one. Um, this one, hopefully you'll see this before you see um, my makeup collection. So that is one I just got in Ipsy. 
We have Protégé. This one was really pretty. This is by Suva Beauty. This came in a boxy charm, so that's really nice. Um, then we have the Pretty Vulgar Nightingale, the Pure that came in the boxy charm, and then all of these back here are like ColourPop palettes, Holiday, and then I have a Norvina that's for sale on my Poshmark. Woo woo. So that is my beauty collection. That is it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go sit down and have a face to face with you here before I sign off. So BRB. All right. So now I'm in the place where I film all my videos with my lighting, my wonderful desk that my partner made me. If you've never seen it, I know there's videos in previous, um, like my beauty room tour or whatever, and it'll show you my desk and all my lights that I made. Um, I have a DIY ring light video you can check out because I made my own. <laughs> I am in front of a new natural light window now, so that does help sometimes depending on, you know, what the weather's like here in Oklahoma. So, yeah, I just, um, I kind of wanted you guys to see my beauty stuff, my beauty collection and my makeup collection. I want you to be able to request like what you want to see first. Is there a palette that I have that you, you know, want to see a tutorial on? Does it work for your eye shape? Does it work for your, um, you know, does it work for you, your skin type, whatever. Um, you know, let me know if you have any requests, what you want to see first. And I will definitely, definitely try to get the requests in before I get in my own personal preferences. Um, today I used the, um, Natasha Dane on a Tropic palette. And then I used the loose pigment from... ColourPop, and then I used a splurge cream shadow on the inside and down here, and then I just topped it with a little bit of the Jeffree Star Supreme Frost. Um, love those. They're so good. If you don't have any, you need to get some of them. They're so good. Mm, so good. All right. So um, I'm just going to get out of here. I'm going to get off of here. Let me know your requests. Do not forget to subscribe. If you like this kind of video where you're kind of touring with me and kind of vlogging and stuff, let me know because I could definitely do more. Um, so do good, be good, you are good. Ring the notification bell so you know the next time I go and upload a video. Love you the most. Bye, bitches.